check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. All right, I'll say it. He's superior. What's up, YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Takara Transformers Masterpiece Soundwave. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is, it's very big Masterpiece packaging, with a very cool picture of Soundwave and Laserbeak going on there. He is the strong communications and here it says masterpiece here it says masterpiece here's a bunch of stuff that I can't read on the top of the box we have another nice product shot maybe not so obligatory but it's a nice product shot a sound wave on the back you have a bunch of obligatory product shots and a lot of stuff that I can't read and he does this, he does that, he does the other, he does all this good stuff right here that makes him awesome. And that's basically it for the box. So moving right along, inside the box you get little collector's cards here with Soundwave and Condor. They're calling him Condor instead of Laserbeak. And on the back you get, you know, Tech specs, bios, product shots. You know how it works, but nice little collector cards. You also get this little sheet of paper here telling you about the uh, the tape gimmick in his chest. And you also get, of course, your instructions. Your instructionalizationalizing. I will say one thing. I love this picture. This picture is awesome. Somebody put that on a t-shirt. That, I really like that picture. That is cool. <laughs> and on the back, you have a list of all of the sound waves that have been released over the years, all the way up to uh, Prime Soundwave, which is pretty cool. And down here, you get these uh, extra little uh, readout sheets that you can cut out and put in Soundwave's chest. And uh, I'll get more into this later on in the review. But, yeah. So you get that. And that's basically it. Right now, let's get right down to Soundwave himself, and he is a box. <laughs> he transforms into a box. There he is, old style tape player. It's it's Soundwave. It's G1 Soundwave. There's no mistaking it whatsoever. Um, but still, very nicely done. Paint apps just look amazing, and you know has all the callbacks to G1 Soundwave with a little battery light going on here. Got the play button. Um, the rewind and fast forward buttons you can actually push. They are, you know, they do have some spring action. These buttons in the center are just molded in, but still everything's nicely chromed. And these buttons you can actually play with. Um, you got your volume knob right here, which on mine is a little stiff. It does roll, but on mine is quite stiff. Um, over here you got this switch going on here. I love the fact that they actually tried to modernize him. They actually put some. Uh, various ports and, and whatnot on this side to actually have some like SD card ports so they did try to modernize this kudos kudos um, here's a little uh, connection here and whatnot he actually does come with a headphone jack he does have a headphone jack and you can actually plug in a pair of headphones now granted you can't listen to anything off of this but it's still cool that you can actually plug in a pair of headphones I thought that's, that was a neat touch that they didn't have to add. So, yeah. On the back, of course, you can, you know, pretty much just see his arms right there. And there is uh, his weapons, which, of course, double as the batteries. Of course, they're not, uh, you know, contained inside the centerpiece like with G1 Soundwave, but still. And, um, yeah, and there's this little extra accessory that you can store right there. So, yeah, it's Soundwave. He turns into a box. <laughs> And for comparison, here he is with G1 Soundwave. So you can see how they look next to each other. Obviously, this box is a little bit bigger than this box. Definitely thicker. But, yep. So you have that going on there. A tale of two boxes. <laughs> 
take that how you want. But yeah, it's cool. He's a box. And of course, you push the button and you eject a tape. There is a tape in here. And here you have laser beak. Now, one cool thing is he can actually hold up to three tapes. And basically, it's all due to this this back panel right here, which can actually shift back. You can push it back all the way back. And he can store up to three tapes. And basically, by pushing down this little switch right here, it will move that back plate forward to accommodate however many tapes are in there. So basically, if you click it once, it'll move up one spot. You click it again, it'll move up that last spot. So that's basically how that works. And Laserbeak here is basically the same size as a G1 cassette. Here I have them with, uh, with Frenzy. You can see the exact same size as a G1 cassette. So, works totally, totally, totally well with Masterpiece Soundwave. And like I said, you can push this back, it'll click into place, and you can take Frenzy, take them, just drop them right back there. Well, you can move them up a spot because we only have two cassettes in there, so let me just click that forward one, so there you go. So now that panel is right there, ready to accommodate two tapes. Then you take laser beak, put them in there, and there you go. Both tapes are self-contained. They rattle around a little bit, but, you know, you can store them. And then, of course, you want to eject. There you go. You can pull out laser beak, and then you can just push this back switch again, and... Oops, he got stuck. Ah, oh, it's the first time he got stuck. Ah, it was working before, and now it wants to get stuck on me. Because the spring is stupid spring head. Keeping his arms up. Stay down. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Come on. Get back there. There we go. Let's see if it works now. There you go. So basically that, that back plate will actually spring him to the forefront so he can then eject. So that's how that gimmick works. So for right now, let's focus on Laserbeak. We'll just put Soundwave off to the side. Laserbeak, very cool. Again, you know, same size as a G1 cassette. And, uh, you know, nice nice paint apps going on there, it looks like. looks like a, a cassette tape. Of course, if you turn it around, you see, you know, Laserbeak beaky parts. But, you know, just the way it is. But, um, yeah, very neat. And the engineering in this thing is crazy. So let's transform him. First thing you're going to do is you see there's a little notch right here. You're going to take your finger, push that notch, and that'll bring his head up enough for you to get in there and pull his head out. Once you do that, you come in here, you flip up these panels and bring them up like that. Now you're going to take these sections right here and you're going to bring them up and fold them over like that. And you see there was weapons right there. They just fold that fin up. No parts forming on this guy. It's, it's amazing that they engineered it this way. Flip that second one up. Flip up the fin. Then you come in here. You just bring the foot down. Rotate it forward. Bring the other foot down. Rotate that forward, then take the wings and just bring them back. And there you have Laser Beak. And he is just too freaking cool. That is just amazing. The, the engineering behind this is just, that, that's just phenomenal. Um, nice head sculpt on him. Looks really good. Lots of nice detail. Lots of nice detail going on right here in, in his weapons. Just it's it's amazing, amazing. And one nice little touch is the fact that you can actually flip up this little panel here on his head, and he has his little his little spy cam. That's crazy. I mean, that's just crazy. They didn't have to do that, but they did, and that's just that's just amazing. Um, the wings do have some articulation. They can you know angle them forward. Um, they don't really. Now they don't really angle up, but you can you can angle them downward if you want. Um, the feet, you know, can rotate and they can pivot back like that. So you can have them in any kind of pose. You can have them just in kind of a 
kind of a perched pose right there if you want. Just have him hanging out there. But yeah, this little guy is just too, too cool. And for comparison, here he is with G1 uh, Buzzsaw. And you can see how they match up. You can see Buzzsaw is a little bit bigger than Laserbeak, but he doesn't have the engineering that this guy has. So that's just, that's just crazy. Love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Very cool. So we'll just put Laserbeak off to the side here. And now we will get back to Soundwave. He's a box. So let's transform this box into a robot, shall we? Let's. Okay, so first thing you're going to do, you're going to take this front panel right here with your controls, push that down. And you're going to bring this up. You're going to take these two panels here, fold them in like that. Then you're going to take this and bring it down. And you're going to just remove this. Get this out of the way. Then you're going to take this section right here and you're going to fold it up just like that. And there you go. Next, you're going to come here and you're going to get these panels undone, which can be a little tricky to do. Come on, man. There we go. I'm going to take these panels right there. I'm going to bring it down, bring it all the way out like that. I'm going to come back here. You want to take the arm and bring it up because the arm does tab in to the leg. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a tab right there that tabs into the slot in the forearm. So you want to make sure you want you untab that arm before you go on to the next step. And I'll just do it on this side just so I don't forget because I tend to forget. You ever forget? Happens to me. Happens to me all the time. So let's do the same thing over here. Let's just get this panel freed up. Just take it. Swing it all the way out, like that. Now you're going to take these side pieces here, untab them, you're going to bring them out that far, and then you're going to bring the leg up and extend it. And it will lock into place, and there's a button right here, and this is basically the, uh, the latch that keeps this in place. When you're transforming him back into cassette tape mode, cassette tape, cassette player mode, you want to push that button, and that's a release, and that allows you to slide that back down. So... So I'll take that, bring the leg down, like that. Let's do the same thing over here. All right. Get the camera up, because he's going to get tall. All right, so you want to do the same thing here. Just untab that. Extend that leg. Bring it down, like that. You want to rotate the leg at the knee like that. Now you're going to take the foot and you're going to untab it from this section. It just tabs in right here. You're going to take the foot, untab it. You're going to bring it up like that and then just swing the foot under the leg like that. Then you're just going to take whoops. Then you're going to take this section right here and just rotate it so it lines up with this. And you're just going to bring it down and you'll see this tab right here will tab into that slot right there. And there you have a leg. That's basically the way you want it to look when you're all done. So you have one leg, second verse, same as the first. You want to unplug that foot. Oh, and also another little neat thing is he actually does have these little panels right here on his feet, which do open up. And these are basically... These are going to be storage for Frenzy and Rumble's weapons when they come out. You'll be able to store your, your, store their weapons in those little panels right there. So again, nice little touches that they added. But um, again, just going to unpack the foot, bring the foot up, and then swing it under like that. And take this. You know, it was, it was in this orientation with all the silver lining up. They just went to rotate it like that. Bring it down. And there you have his legs. Let's get him standing up here. Then you're going to take his arms, bring him forward, and these tabs will tab in right there. Just want to push him in until it clicks into place. Click that into place. Take these panels behind his shoulders. Bring these down like that. You're going to come here, open up this panel. Flip out his fist, 
Close it back up. Second verse. Oddly much like the first. Flip out the hand. Close that up. You're going to come back here. Uh, let me say that for last. You're going to take... <laughs> you're going to take this battery right here. You're going to bring it up. Rotate it around. To make a shoulder cannon. Now, last but not least, you're going to take this panel. Bring it back. Flip the head up. Close that up. And then you want to take his whole... His whole, uh crotch section here and you want to push it back oops dropped his battery <laughs> you want to take it and push it back like that it'll clip into place let me plug that back on here and there you have masterpiece sound wave in robot mode and oh my god this figure is amazing i love this thing i love it so much he is just... <laughs> I think the word masterpiece doesn't even do this justice, really. I mean, this thing is... This is just a wonderful, wonderful figure. Love it, love it, love it. The paint apps look great. The detail looks amazing. It's just... This is just a great, great figure. Just really. Head sculpt, very nice. Get in here. Very nice head sculpt. Very G1. Just looks great. Nice paint apps here on his shoulder cannons. You know, nice paint apps and details going all around. Just wonderfully done. Just nice paint apps, nice details going on here. It is just phenomenal. Even back here, there is sculpted detail and they painted it in. Just really, really cool. Really well done. Oh, one thing I forgot to point out. I thought this was kind of funny. When you open up these arm panels, they actually molded in speakers. They molded in speakers into those panels. Why? I don't know. Again, they didn't have to do that, but they did, and that's just, <laughs> that's just cool. But, um, yeah, this, this thing is amazing. Just amazing. Um, Articulation-wise, it said can move up and down, it can rotate, um, arms can do a full 360, they can go in and out, they can go in and out at the shoulder, and they can go in and out at this joint right here also. You do get a swivel, double jointed elbow, you do get a wrist swivel, um, the fingers, uh, the index finger is jointed at two knuckles, and then the other three fingers are just molded together and only move at this knuckle here. So. You have that, you do get a waist joint, you do get some nice clickety-clackety leg joints, go forward and back, they go outward, you do get some swiveling action at the thigh as well as at the knee, you get nice clickety-clackety knee joints, and you do get good movement from the feet, you get forward and back pivoting action, you also get a nice little ankle rocker action going on there. So, very poseable, and just all around really freaking cool. This guy is just amazing, amazing. Now, of course, as you saw here, he does have this extra battery, which you can pull out, and you just want to extend it. Once you do that, you come in here, and you pull down this handle, which in turn will actually extend the barrel of the gun. So when you pull this down, that piece will actually come up, and then you kind of get your nail into this groove here, and you can pull the barrel out the rest of the way, and you have Soundwave's gun. So you just open up his hand, and of course, like most, well, like most, like all Masterpiece figures, you know, they had the tabs on either side, and of course you have that slot there on either hand, so you can hold it in either hand. You just want to take it and plug it in. Close it up. And now Soundwave is holding his weapon, which is really cool. And of course he does come with this extra accessory here, which is like a sensor or blaster. I don't even know what this was. I think it was like a sensor. And if, you know, and as you saw, it was uh, stored back here. And you can store it back here if you don't want him actually using it. But basically, you can take this, fold his hand back in. 
close that back up and you'll see those two slots there and you just want to take these two tabs and just plug it in and you have that going on so we can sense stuff like a sensory thing does why not dare I say why not but I leave it plugged into his butt you know <laughs> I don't really have him displayed with that so let's get his hand back out here Now, for other accessories, he does come with another Megatron gun. It's basically the exact same Megatron gun that comes with the original um, Masterpiece Prime. And the only difference is it does come with an extra joint here. So you can basically pull this down and angle it so it can accommodate whatever figure is actually holding it. And, you know, you can slide this down. It's just like the, it's just like the gun that comes with the original Masterpiece Prime. So you get that, and of course, you know, Soundwave can hold it. It does come with, I forgot to show this off when Laserbeak was in cassette mode, but it does come with a uh, little cassette case. I'll just put Frenzy in here. Yeah. You can put your tapes in there. I would have preferred it if this was clear plastic as opposed to this pink plastic, but eh, whatever. What are you going to do? But yeah. Comes with a little tape holder. And he does come with this extra chest panel, which as you can see has a little grid there. And this is where... These little readouts on the back of the instruction manuals come in because basically you would cut these out and place them behind this chest, uh, this chest panel and plug it onto his chest. Now, if you don't want to cut up your instruction manual, which I definitely do not, um, you can, you know, you could take this to like a, a printing place and, and print it out, or if you have a, a good scanner at home with some good. Uh, you know, a good color uh, printer and scanner at home that you could totally, you know, scan this and print it out. Um, unfortunately, I have a uh, printer with only uh, black ink. I don't have any color ink, so. <laughs> I did the best with what I could. So basically, you end up with the little readouts. So what you do is you just take them and just place them into that panel there, and then this just plugs in right into Soundwave's chest. So now he can have his little readouts going on, which is pretty cool. It's a, it's a neat touch. I, I do like it. And I just printed these on on regular paper. Again, if, if you want to do it, you can print it out on some better, you know, like glossy paper. Yeah, you can take this one, put it in there too, so you can have that going on. So it looks like he's reading out stuff, but a neat touch, a neat touch nonetheless. And you also get an Energon Cube, a nice transclearant Energon Cube. You can pop the top off of it, and you can plug this on the Soundwave's chest. And it looks like he's producing Energon Cubes from his chest like on the shell. Again, a really neat touch. It's, it's cool. It's a cool touch. Now, another thing you can do is, um, I believe on the uh, Takara website, they have uh, basically this little papercraft thingamajig, that's the, that's the technical term. It's basically a little papercraft Energon cube that will fit inside of this Energon... Ugh. My mouth decides to stop working. <sighs> Not the first time, won't be the last. <laughs> you can <laughs> print out a papercraft Energon cube that will go inside of this Energon cube to give it some actual color if you want. Again, I have no color ink in my printer, so this is what I could print out. And basically, you make a papercraft Energon cube. And again, I have no color ink. This would actually be this color. It would be pink, but um, mine is just gray. This is dark Energon. That's what it is. It's dark Energon. Yeah. So basically, what you would do is you pop the top off, Slide in your papercraft Energon cube, like that. You know, you can close it up. And then you have an actual Energon cube that's full of Energon. This is Dark Energon. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> or you can take it and plug it onto his chest. Have him producing Dark Energon from his chest. Hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? 
So you have that. Um, right now, um, I believe, uh, well, not, not, well, not I believe, I know that um, Vangelis uh, posted on TFW um, a, uh, he managed to, to have the, uh, the layout for the Energon Cube and the readouts on the same page. He managed to put them both on the same page, so you can just print them out on one page and cut them out. So um, I'll put a link to that down below. He, he posted it on, uh, on TFW. So if you have a Masterpiece Soundwave and you want to print out your Energon Cube and also print out your readouts, you can just print them all out in one page. So that was very cool evangelist to do. So, yeah, he's got that. And yeah, what else is there to say? Oh yeah, Laserbeak! More about Laserbeak. Laserbeak can perch on Soundwave. You can see here, his feet actually have um, little grooves going on here. And Soundwave has these clear tabs on his forearms. And he has them on both forearms, so you can mount them either way. You just want to take it, and you can actually tab Laserbeak onto his forearm. Come on, man. There you go. You can actually tab laser beak onto his forearm. Oh. There you go. And totally have him perched on Soundwave's forearm. That's really cool. And it's and it is quite secure. He you know, he won't fall off. That's really neat. And also, he has those same grooves on either shoulder. So if you want, you can totally mount laser beak. On sound waves. Oop. I can get them in there. There you go. Whoop. Come on, Mike. There you go. You can totally have laser beak mounted on sound wave shoulder. Which again, really cool. Love that. Love that. Just so so cool. Have I showed off everything? I think I showed off everything. If I didn't, I'm sure somebody I'm sure at least 50 people will point it out if I missed something that I was supposed to show off. But I think I got everything. I think. I think. Okay, well, for comparison, here he is with G1 Soundwave. As you can see, the past, the future! And the future has never looked so bright. So, so bright. So we have that. Compare it to some other masterpieces here. Here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. And you can see how he stacks up a Sideswipe. There he is with Masterpiece Prime. And you can see, a bit shorter than Prime. As he should be. And there he is with Masterpiece Starscream. You see, he's a bit taller than Masterpiece Starscream, which I think he should be. Should he be? I don't know. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not a scale nut, so it doesn't bother me if he's supposed to be taller or shorter. I don't care. Um, and here he is with Masterpiece, and I use the term loosely. Masterpiece Megatron. <laughs> yeah. Please give us a new Masterpiece Megatron. I'm begging you, please. Please. <laughs> but, yeah. As far as Soundwave goes, this figure is simply amazing. Should you get this figure? Yes, yes, yes. A thousand times, yes. This guy is awesome. Laserbeak is awesome. This is just a complete package. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is the fact that you can actually, you know, you can angle this, your shoulder can, however you like. It does, you know, angle up, rotate. So, just thought I'd mention that. But, um, yeah, this figure is amazing. Definitely recommended. Definitely. If you can get your hands on this guy, if you have the means, do so. This figure is amazing. It's just a great figure. You know, you got some cool accessories, you get your guns, you get your tape cases, you get extra chest panels, you get dark energon cubes, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. You even get readouts that you can print out of cheap paper, and it kind of sucks if you don't have color ink, but hey, 
Doesn't matter. It's still an amazing, amazing set going on here. Definitely recommend it. Pick him up. He is awesome. So, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Takara Transformers Masterpiece Soundwave. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Hey, hey Decepticon. Have you seen my new action figure? It's pretty cool, isn't it? No, I bet you don't have anything like this. Hmm. That's pretty cool, I guess. Is that all he can do? I am gonna tell your boss, and you are gonna be in so much trouble. So much trouble. You'll see. So much trouble. Stop mocking me!